cutting. The operation of cutting skins or other materials can be accomplished both manually as mechanically. Traditionally, cutting began by being made by hand, but nowadays a great part of the footwear manufacturing companies uses machines for doing it, either the already traditional cutting presses, either the automatic machines that fall back upon CNC processes to accomplish the operation. In short, the available cutting methods are manual cutting with knife, mechanic cutting, clicking press with turning arm or movable trolley, automatic cut CAD cam with knife, laser or by water jet. The selection of the ideal cutting process is broadly an economic order, but it also depends significantly on the type of product of the company and of the quantity of pairs to produce. The quality of the cutting material should not depend on the chosen cutting method, although one should have in account that the more mechanic or automated, the less the process depends on the operator's expertise. Manual cutting. This cutting method is usually used when the orders are of small dimension, not being profitable to order to do cutting dies to cut in the cutting press, and when the company does not have a machine of automatic cut that doesn't need cutting dies. In this case, the skins or synthetics are cut on top of rigid plates, usually of polyethylene, with the aid of a specific knife, very sharp and of vertical edge, and of the patterns in rigid card made available by the design section. This way the cutter, who has to his side the patterns for a certain style, extends the skin on top of the rigid plate and selects the patterns that he wants to cut, at the same time that he chooses the ideal place of the skin to cut each piece. In this manual operation, the raw material consumption depends exclusively on the experience of the cutter, once it is in his hands to do the best fitting of the cutted pieces in order to flee to the defects, to obey to the cutting directions, to combine shades or to cut the largest possible number of pieces. Mechanical cutting. In the case of orders already with some dimension, usually about 500 or 800 pairs, it becomes more profitable, also by being faster, to use a cutting press that can be with a turning arm, more used for skins, or with movable trolley, more used for synthetic. To use that equipment is necessary to previously execute the collection of cutting dies, based on the card patterns, then for each style in the designing section, whose cost has to be compensated by the decrease of the time of the operation and of the labor economy. In this cutting method, the cutter starts to have to his side the collection of cutting dies instead of the collection of patterns. As in the case of the manual cutting, disposing the equipment of a log, usually of polyethylene, where the cutter puts the skin and a movable arm that the operator makes move upward of the cutting previously puts at the place of the referred skin where is intended to remove the piece. The cutting operation is executed by the cutting press after driving through the pressure made on the pins of the cutting press by both hands of the operator through a dry stoke on a cutting die. The pneumatic head of the press lifts automatically after the referred stroke being moved away in order to allow the operator to retreat the cutting die and the cutted piece. Just as in the manual cutting method, the raw material consumption also depends exclusively on the experience of the cutter. Once it is him that is choosing the place where he puts the cutting dies, and it is in his hands to do the best use of the skin. This cutting method with cutting press is the most used in the shoe industry, although in a lot of companies already start to exist simultaneously automatic cutting machines. Automatic cutting, CAD, CAM. The use of an automatic cutting method implicates, besides the acquisition of the CNC cutting equipment, that the designing is computerized through a CAD drawing system to the point of being possible to send to the automatic cutting machine the all relative information to the patterns of the style to produce, to its quantity or even to its placement in its skin to cut. Then the CAD system constitutes a fundamental piece in the old cell of automatic cutting. One of the advantages of a cutting system like this is exactly to eliminate the need of all the cutting dies once the whole information on the pieces to cut is sent directly from the CAD system to the cutting machine with the consequent reduction of the costs and significant earnings in terms of response. The CAD system also allows to calculate and to optimize the skin consumption for production of a style by the execution of several fitting studies involving the respective patterns. The consumption of each style is calculated combining information of fitting of the patterns with data from the material in that should be cut. 
The fitting calculations are accomplished in an automatic way, being able to obtain results to be used in the placement process. In this cutting method, two possibilities exist for the placement of the pieces in the skin before they are cut automatically. In the process totally automatic, all the skins that will be cut are scanned. In other words, its outline and type of effects is reproduced in the computer. The pieces of the style are placed automatically and then it is only to place the skin in the machine and to order the cut. In the semi-automatic process, the placement of the pieces of the style is executed virtually on top of the skin. After this was placed in the machine, not being necessary to scan it previously. The machine allows then that the operator projects the pieces on the skin and put them in the places that he finds more convenient. In the end, it is enough to give order to the machine to cut. In this case, the operator's experience is decisive for the use of the skin. At this time, automatic cutting machines exist with three different processes to cut the materials by knife, by water jet and by laser. And the first two are the more used. The cutting automatic system still allows to the demarcations in the skins, wrists and stings that traditionally are handmade in the cutting section or in the stitching preparation section and that are fundamental guides for the correct accomplishment of the stitching operations freeing the operators that execute that operation. In short, the automatic cutting system has several advantages relatively to traditional processes, namely because it allows considerable decrease of time response, elimination of the cutting dies, flexibility for small series, optimization of the use of the raw materials, rigor and quality. Which are the aspects to consider to maintain the work quality in cutting section? To reach a good quality pattern in this section, it is necessary to have in consideration a group of rules that concern to technical aspects of cutting, namely uppers. They should be cutted in distension sense to the width and of the best part of the skin, since it is the most visible piece of the shoe, being also the one that is more subject to distensions by the use. Toes. To cut the piece with distension sense to the width of the skin, resistant, above all in the areas where the tweezers will catch and pull the upper. Vamps. They should be cut at areas without wrinkles, with the distension sense to the width. Counterparts. They should be cut with distension sense to the width, from the better part next to the cut of the upper's toes vamps. Langet. Pal. This piece can be cut of the areas of smaller quality, could pass small effects, its detention sense is to the length. Pipings, straps, buckle straps. The sense of distension of these pieces should be to be the length and they can be cut of flexible skin but never of parts not exploitable. 